Well, my friends, I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. The good news, I booked one of my best day trading days in quite some time. Best one of the year, for sure. Plus 3,801.50. The bad news, based on Captain Joe's new tax proposal, he's going to take 40% of it. So what are you going to do, right? You can't win for losing. Uh, welcome to today's update. Today's Thursday, April 22nd. Like I said, plus 3,801.50. Uh, on the mighty 90s, we had two trades, uh, both winners, NVIDIA for plus 370, Tesla for plus 263. No pairs trades today. And then a uh, little rough go this morning on the uh, runners. Uh, now, some of these were due to once the announcement of the tax uh, hike came out, some of these were basically break even and then got flush lower, uh, but ended up taking a loss on Beyond. That was not due to Captain Joe. Uh, Facebook minus 954, Apple minus 450, Microsoft minus 280, Piton minus 408, Twitter minus 340, and then the announcement came out, and uh, that's when I got a little bit of aggressive with my short runners in. Started off with MES, uh, the, that's the micro S&P, book 1360 there. Then uh, when we got a bounce, uh, a bigger bounce, that's when I really got aggressive and went with the... NASDAQ contracts booked uh, 4760 on that one. And then I uh, scaled my size way down and switched back over to the micro NASDAQs and booked 632.50 on those. So let's take a look at these and I'll show you what happened. Let's start with the Mighty 90s, NVIDIA. NVIDIA, NVDA. Uh, so NVIDIA had this initial flush down, got a nice little volume spike here, got long and rode this thing up. I got out of most of it right here, held on, held on, ended up getting out of the rest right there. Uh, so booked a nice profit of 370. Tesla plus 263. So in Tesla, let's see here, Tesla, Tesla. Uh, yeah, this flushed down, got long right here in Tesla and caught a nice little bounce. Right when it reached the break even or unchanged mark for the day, I went ahead and just closed that out. Uh, only had a couple contracts, so close that out for plus 263. And then on the runners, let's go through the stocks first, and then we'll jump over to the futures trades that we did. I'll show you what my thought process was and uh, and what happened. So starting with Beyond, though. Uh, Beyond, so Beyond was a little bastard today, is what Beyond was. Uh, the, the premium really got sucked out. Now, we were, we were trading the one-day options, so you've got to expect that you're going to have a little bit more theta decay. But when we got in this one, we had this nice volume spike right here. So on this pullback, we got long looking for a continuation higher. And then when it kept going down, we added a little bit. Now we got this really nice bounce almost back up to highs of the day, but we we're still down significantly. And they just literally sucked the premium out of these things. And then when this thing rolled over, uh, it really, really got out of hand. I had a, I had a pretty small position on in there and still lost uh, 1,152 on that trade due to that uh, premium suckage, as well as the, uh, you know, the trade didn't, it, it never gave us that really uh, exponential increase like we were hoping for. So took a loss on that one. Facebook 950, minus 954, uh, this was on a couple of different trades. Let's look at the first one here. First one on this big volume spike to the upside, looking for a continuation to the upside. So on a pullback, got long right in this area and it bounced up. We got out of half on this little bounce and then it just never gave us any more, never gave us any more. And then, um, uh, let's see, what did it, oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah, then when it made this big push back up, started consolidating, got long again, looking for a potential new high on the day. And I would say it probably had a pretty sh good shot of doing that until, boom, the bomb got dropped. And this was the announcement of Joe Biden, Joe Biden's proposal on the new tax increase on capital gains. So uh, still a little cloudy about what exactly that is, but the market, no likey. So uh, so when, when that started to flush, I just bailed on that, on that piece. Uh, Apple minus 450. So an Apple... Uh, let's see what we do in Apple here. Oh yeah, so Apple had this nice run up early. It's just consolidating, consolidating. Uh, we got long about right in here, looking for a continuation higher for an upside runner. 
Uh, took some heat here. Uh, I almost added right here, but it didn't quite get low enough. And then it rebounded all the way back up to the top. Looked like it was going to continue higher. And then the bomb dropped. And so we just cut out of all of our long positions right there. Apple being one of them. So it took a loss on that one. And then Microsoft. Uh, same kind of thing. We're uh, Microsoft was kind of just bouncing around, acting like it was going to stay high and potentially go for higher prices. And this thing just started grinding, 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 and got caught in the in the bomb drop. So took it off there. Uh, Piton was another loser. So in Piton, let's see, what did we do in Piton? Uh, oh yeah, oh yeah. When it was started consolidating above yesterday's high, we got long here, and that kind of flushed us out. So we just we bailed on that one down there. Uh, Twitter was the last stock that we did. Let's see, where's Twitter? So in Twitter, so in Twitter had this initial flush down, big spike in volume. So on a bounce, we were looking for a potential continuation to the downside. Didn't happen. And then um, when uh, when it broke through, looked like it was going to be a good reversal. Uh, we got long and then it just kind of chopped around. We got out of part of our position, but then when it flushed down, we just cut out of our last piece, ended up taking a loss there. All right, so those are the stocks. And then let's talk about the futures and what we did when the proposal came out and the market started to flush. So my first trade was in the S&Ps. So what we did here was, as you can see, very clearly when this started to just, everything just started to flush. And so I waited, 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 and when it bounced right here, bounced back to kind of the bottom of this price level here from earlier in the morning, right here, I got short. And then it, it flushed down. I, was, I had an order to get out of half of my position, like right here, just missed it by literally a couple of ticks, bounced all the way back up. I added to it, and then, and that's when I really caught that nice move, and I just kind of scaled out of some here, here, here. I got out of uh, all the rest of them here. Uh, so that was my ES trade. Uh, that was plus 1,360. And then in the NASDAQ, uh, same, pretty similar price pattern as far as, um, you know, it came down and when it bounced up, really I was looking at this level. It bounced up uh, on this first bar, I got short and I just shorted a couple of the big size NASDAQ contracts. And, and my goal was, okay, if it keeps pushing, and gets up to this level, equal with this little price price peak here, uh, I was going to add to it. And so that's what I did. So right here, literally at the top of this little bounce, uh, got short some more, and then this thing just flushed. I ended up closing out uh, both of all of my, I had four of the big NASDAQ contracts, closed those all out, booked 4760 on that trade. So really nice one there. I thought we might have some additional downside. We had a little bit. Uh, but then when it bounced, I um, I was like, well, I'm not going to go back in with the, the big boy contracts because I don't know how much more downside we have today. I still think we're going to go lower. So I ended up just getting in with some some of the micros. So I added some uh, on this bounce. I added some micros here. And then when it bounced up to this level here, I added some more. And so got some got a nice flush. We scaled out of half of them. Uh, and then it just kind of chopped around towards the end of the day. Oops. Chopped around towards the end of the day. I ended up scaling out of the rest of them, you know, somewhere in here. And then the last piece right before the close. So booked 632.50 on those remaining contracts. So what started out is just a red day. I mean, I was going to be down eight, nine hundred, maybe a thousand dollars on the, uh, trades and then the market flushed and that put me in the hole a couple thousand and then but based on the price action we were seeing and, and the fact that based on the the big announcement that happened uh really you know i i feel like i traded it really well and you know there's one there was one day um earlier this year where i was down and i ended up kind of revenge trading and putting on a bunch of big uh, futures contracts and things like that. And this, this day was nothing like that. Uh, I, while I did put on some big size, I did it very methodically. I was very calm about it. This was in no way a, a revenge trading, trying to get money back that I had 
that I was down earlier in the morning. I really just looked at this as an opportunity. Had I been up a couple thousand already for the day, I would have, uh, I'm pretty sure I would have been doing the same thing. So uh, really, really happy about the discipline and the way I traded today. And of course, obviously it worked out well, plus 3,801.50. So I uh, hope everybody made some money. I know some folks posting in the community did did awesome too. So uh, nice job. We will be streaming again live tomorrow. Hopefully we get some more fireworks. We will see. Uh, look forward to seeing you in the community tomorrow. Talk to you then.